Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this smoky eye and I'm going to start using the Smashbox Photo Finish Lip Primer, my current favorite eyeshadow primer. I prefer this one instead of the Paint Pot by MAC. I feel like it gives a more smooth and less dry finish. So this one is super nice. And as you might have seen, I'm not wearing foundation and this is because I'm going to have a lot of fallout with this eyeshadow look. So yeah, I just decided to do my foundation afterwards. So I'm going first in with this De Balm eye palette and it's called the Trimony eye palette. And I'm going to use that super light shade and I'm going to use that one to set my crease. So I'm only going to apply this on the crease and not so much on the eyelid. So now I'm going in with that same palette and I'm going to use this middle brown shade and I'm going to blend this all over in my crease. It's going to be my transition shade and what that means is that this is the first shade that I'm going to apply in my crease and it will help to blend all the other eyeshadows that I'm going to apply afterwards. So I'm just going to blend this back and forth. Now I'm going to use a different palette by the Balm. This is the Meat Matte Eye Palette and I'm going to use this pretty brown shade. And I'm just going to blend this in the crease as well, but I picked up a smaller blending brush so I can work a little bit more precise. And what I'm doing is basically making sort of round motions all over in my crease. So that the shade goes all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner to create a sort of round effect. So the smokiness is all around my eyelid, if that makes sense. So now I'm going back in with that middle brown shade from the Trimony eye palette. And I'm going to blend this in my crease just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Uh, when you create a smoky eye, it's important to go back in with lighter shades around the edges to really make sure that it looks super nice and blended. So now I'm going in with this reddish shade from the Trimony eye palette. And I'm going to take a Morphe M506 brush. And I'm going to sort of um, press and blend this in my crease. I just want this to be all over in my crease and you don't really have to worry when you recreate this that the reddish eyeshadow is also going uh, more towards the eyelid because I will go in with black eyeshadow later on so just don't worry. After applying that black eyeshadow you won't see anything back, back from it. Oh my gosh. And now I'm going to just blend this back and forth all over in the crease as well just to make it a little bit more warm. And now I'm going in with this Sigma Wicca Gel Eyeliner. This is just a basic black gel eyeliner. You can use any brand that you have. And I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid as a base for my black eyeshadow. So it's going to be super intense black. Of course you can skip this if you're a little bit afraid to use cream products. And go straight in with black eyeshadow. But I promise you. Well, I guarantee you that it isn't going to look as black as it does if you use a gel eyeliner. So yeah, I'm just going to use this and I'm using a concealer brush from the brand Sigma Beauty. And I'm just going to first apply this and press this on the eyelid and then I'm going around the edges to kind of blend it out. So now I'm going in with the Trimony eye palette and I'm going to use the black eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this straight on top of the black gel eyeliner and when i'm done with that i'm going to blend this around the edges to make it look less harsh and for this step i'm using the same morphe m506 brush which i also use to blend that reddish brown shade for in my crease this is a really nice brush because you can blend super precisely and in this case that comes in super handy so now i'm going in with the balm trim the eye palette again and i'm using that reddish shade and I'm going in with my flat blending brush by Sigma. And I'm just going to blend this around the edges. And since I have already blended this in my crease before, it will not be super hard to work with this shade because that shade is already in my crease. So now I'm just going to sort of blend this on the edge of the black eyeshadow and on my crease where the shade is already. And then you're just going to smudge it out and eventually it will look super smooth and blended out. But just be patient, keep blending until you're satisfied. It will take a time, but it will be worth it. 
So now I'm going to use this eye makeup remover and I'm just going to make sure that all the black eyeshadow is removed underneath the eye. So I can then go in with my foundation and concealer and it will just look super clean. So now I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyebrows. I have applied my concealer and eyebrows and foundation off camera, but I felt like this was kind of necessary to show because it will change my crease a little bit. So when I'm done with applying um, eyebrow products on my eyebrows, I always go in with some concealer underneath the eyebrows to make it look super sharp and smooth. And then I'm going to blend this more towards my crease. And since it's concealer, it will kind of blend in my skin and also in the eyeshadows. So this will kind of help that the shades in my crease will look super smooth and it will blend towards my brow. I felt like my crease was already looking super nice and blended, but this will make it just look even better, if that makes sense. I only felt like at the beginning of my brow it was a little bit harsh. I feel like it might be too light. But yeah, I think it looks nice. And I'm going in with the The Balm Meet Matte Eye Palette. And I'm going to use that white shade. And I'm going to apply this on top of where I have applied my concealer. And if you like recreate this, I would suggest to just go in with a skin color shade at the beginning of the eyebrow. So it isn't looking as harsh as it does on my eye. But yeah, that's just something that I would do if I would recreate this. I mean, I learn... Every time I create a look, I always learn something. So now I'm going in with this black eye pencil from Marc Jacobs. And I'm going to apply this in the waterline. And I'm also going to tight line above my lash line to make it extra smoky. And that there will be no skin showing through my lashes. I know it looks kind of scared, but yeah, it won't be. And also, this one is super long lasting. This eye pencil is super nice. So now I'm going back in with the Tremony eye palette and I'm going to use the black eyeshadow. Blah. Okay, again. <laughs> I'm going to use the black eyeshadow from this palette and I'm going to press this right underneath my lower lash line and also slightly on top of my lash line so it connects with each other and I don't want any skin to show through so this is basically the reason why I'm doing this. If you wear eye contacts, be a little bit careful with this. But this will just make it look extra smoky. And that's what we're going for. So now I'm going back in with the Meat Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my god, this is so confusing. Um, and I'm going back in with that brown shade. Which I have also used for in my crease. And I'm just going to blend this softly underneath the black eyeshadow. To make everything look well blended out. So now I'm going to coat my lashes with a little bit of mascara. And the mascara that I'm using is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte Cosmetics. I think it's a really nice mascara for the bottom lashes. And for my fake lashes, I'm using Dainty Lashes from Anytude. I will put a link down in the description bar together with a discount code. And yes, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. This video was a little bit inspired by Desi Perkins. She also made a super intense smoky eye and I was obsessed and I felt like I haven't done a smoky eye for such a long time. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up. This will really help my channel grow. And yeah, I just hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. All the eyes on me, all the eyes on me, all the eyes on me.